Hey guys and welcome to the third tutorial of the drop down menu series and in this tutorial basically we're picking up where we left off in the second tutorial if I just launch this in Chrome yeah you'll see we've got our drop down menu and when we go over tutorials it drops down cool so that's exactly where we left off and it's fully functional but like as I said before, uh, it doesn't look that good, so we're just going to look at uh, styling that to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we'll go over to our CSS and we'll add in a background gradient, which I've actually, I'm actually going to use an image, background image. I made it in GIMP, um, and then, yeah, I can show you guys how to make that if anyone's struggling but it's rather easy and I'm using the wrong brackets there URL uh, nav underscore hover new no, not hover normal dot PNG okay so that's the background image add in a border of uh, one pixel solid RGB and then we'll put that about 200 150 and 0 now that's going to come out as some sort of orange um, I'm not exactly sure what I didn't test it okay uh, what else what else okay and we'll just change the font to be bold 16 pixels sans serif bash okay and we'll put in a height and a width and a margin height 40 pixels width 1000 pixels whoa that's not a thousand thousand pixels and uh, margin of zero pixels and auto okay now what this does is it'll center our navigation in the middle of the page okay so we'll have a height of 1000 I mean a width of 1000 pixels uh, very self-explanatory height of 40 pixels self-explanatory margin zero so it'll have a margin of nothing on the top and nothing on the bottom and um, then the the distance from the left will be the same as the distance from the right so it'll actually be in the center uh, that's what auto over there means okay so you save that and we can go take a look at it actually so launch in Chrome that's what it looks like at the moment and now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our styling um, something I should have done in the last tutorial was style the links just to get rid of the uh, top nav LIA okay just to get rid of the uh, text decoration so text caps lock off text decoration none just so that it's not underlined or anything anymore and um, display block come on man okay display block height no 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 height no. color white okay and that might be it maybe just add in a border there border one pixel solid RGB and then we'll make that about 230 100 0 something like that uh, go ahead and run that in Chrome quickly oh I didn't save did I nope Save, run in Chrome. Okay, and yeah, I didn't add in padding. Cool. 
So go back to our link here. I mean, yeah. And just add in some padding. Padding. Ten pixels. Uh, well, I don't know what I'm thinking. Solid there. Ten pixels and twenty-five pixels. Okay, so that gives it a padding of ten pixels on the top and on the bottom and 25 pixels on the left and 25 pixels on the right uh, so now we can go ahead and look at that and it should fill that orange bar kind of pretty much not so much only kind of okay and now what we do that border We'll change it so that it's only on the right. Okay. And now top nav ULL. As you can see when we look in Chrome, our drop down list is there, but we can't see it because the text is white. So we need to change the text or the background of that ULL or unordered list to be a different color. So we go top nav ULL ULL okay which let me just clone to other view top nav ULL ULL which is top nav ULL ULL which is that one okay we'll give that a background color background RGB and what's it 200 150 0 something like that and then uh, top nav top underscore nav ul whoa <laughs> ul ul L I A um, and we'll just put in uh, now we'll just put it around the UL there a uh, border of one pixel solid RGB again and uh, what's that? 230, 100, 0. Uh, and then just copy this quickly. Control C. Uh, Control V. And after LI, we'll put in A for the link and border. Right and take away the border. So border right equals none. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at what that looks like now. Okay, still nothing. What went wrong with the background color? Oh, it says border. <laughs> no, there's the background. Background color. RGB hmm. let's see what okay take away width we don't need that that's why it's not working take away width completely and there we go yeah that is quite a disgusting color. <laughs> and then over here in ULL or whatever, width 100%. Top nav UL UL LI. Save. Okay. Maybe just fix that color quickly. Uh, which one is it? That one. 
250. Should bring it up some. More orange. There we go. Cool. Uh, and then maybe just change that. Uh, see, now we're just tweaking it a little bit. 99% instead of 100%, the width. And then... Uh, pretty much sorted. And there we go. That's your drop-down menu in just HTML and CSS. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe my videos and maybe I'll make some more. See you guys around.